Ask Reddit. What is the dumbest thing you got punished for in school? A teacher in my school said that Orlando was the state capital of Florida. I corrected him. He raised an eyebrow and said, I think you'll find I'm right, before continuing. I said, no, sir, it's definitely Tallahassee. His retort of, I'm the one with the degree in geography, was met with then you'd think you'd know landed me in detention. I was flirting with a girl I'd know, since we were four. Special needs kid got angry, and punched me in the face. I got suspended for fighting. Words can't even describe how stupid zero tolerance policies are. The school provided bus being late. When the teacher who handed out the detentions was confronted by a large number of parents complaints she responded with not my problem. This is something you take up with the school and say what the hell, either control your buses or control your teachers. Edit, it has come to my attention that both of these options are good and we do not need to settle for only one. Many people, both students and parents complained to both the school and the contracted bus company, but it was like anyone who was in a position to resolve the situation didn't want to. The detention stopped eventually when no one turned up for any of them, and when school rang home they were promptly told that it was not their problem. In second grade, 1993, I dressed up as Aladdin for Halloween. My grandmother worked hard to make the costume as authentic as possible, down to the little patch on the leg. Everyone complimented me on the costume, and I was riding high. Then I heard sobbing. Some little shit named John, a crib of B and overall shit student, also dressed as Aladdin, but his costume was garbage. No fez, just an off-color purple vest and some tan sweet pants. He was weeping uncontrollably, because my costume was better. He ran and hid in the coat room. My teacher flipped her shit on me and made me apologize to him. I didn't do anything wrong. I just had a better costume. I reluctantly apologized to the little shit, shook his hand, and was forced to remove my costume and let him wear his. Duck that kid. Edit. Tons of people are saying duck that teacher as opposed to duck that kid, and I have to agree. John was a little shit, very much a dish it out, but can't take it kind of kid, but this teacher had a reputation for being a colossal asshole. Literally every student in my class was reduced to tears by her at least once, some many many times. She berated kids that couldn't read. She humiliated kids all the time for things that should have been private. She once made a girl literally faint because she was crying so hard after giving her shit for struggling to read. My mom ran into her a few years back at the grocery store, still teaching there. Claims she remembers both me and my sister, who also had her, fondly. Can't believe she's still employed in this day and age, since that behavior is even less tolerated now. Maybe she got her act together. Working ahead in my textbook. This answer is not high enough. Biggest problem in education is this, limiting kids into their boundaries. I got detention for cheating in a test because my score was too high. I didn't cheat. I just studied. My brother was just punished for cheating too because the words he used weren't 7th grade level. He legitimately did his essay without copying anyone else's work. It makes me angry that teachers do this without any sort of proof. My hair gets highlights in it if I spend a lot of time in the sun. I came back to school after a two week beach holiday and got detention because I had colored my hair even though the sun had bleached it. My lips go purple if it's cold even if I'm not particularly cold in myself. I got a few detentions for wearing makeup before my mum phoned up and complained. Who the duck gives detention for wearing makeup? Catholic schools. My French teacher did not like me for some reason I could never guess. Anyway one day during her exam she came to my desk and accused me of cheating when I wasn't doing anything wrong. So, I protested and said I'm not cheating. She then proceeded to took away my sheet and ask me questions on test verbally. I replied correctly to all her questions. Now that she knew that she got nothing on me, she wrote minus 5 on my sheet because of me daring to protest. Spanish teacher accused me of cheating on a test once. Granted I was, but still, haha. <laughs> it's okay it's just Spanish. Pretty sure no one actually learns Spanish in school anyways, at least not until university. They just learn a few broken phrases that they forget by the time they are 22. 
got suspended for throwing paper airplanes in elementary school. Also my little brother's friend is in elementary school and he got in trouble for sexual harassment for saying this roses are red, violets are blue no girl on earth is prettier than you. Misogynist pig. I got in trouble for continuing to play tag after they told us we weren't allowed to play because it was too windy. The wind cold blown your arms upward into each other's eyes. A buddy of mine once had 10% of his grade lowered on a report because when he stapled them together, he did it horizontally instead of at a 45 degree angle. I thought that was ridiculous, but couldn't help laughing. I got detention for saying okay to my home economics teacher in middle school. Seriously. We were in class and she asked me to do something and I replied, politely, okay. The teacher has a detention board and a day later I see my first name on it. I have a very common name, and, joking with her, went haha that's for me right. She said it was. I asked her what I did, and she said it was, because I replied okay to her, when she asked me to do something, and she hates when people do that, she just wants them to do it. I was stunned. I told her I wasn't going to detention. I got home, and told my mom what happened. My teacher's son was in the same grade as my older sister, so my mom knew the teacher. She ended up calling her, and the teacher apparently was fumbling over her words trying to justify the detention. The next day, she goes to me, you served this detention right. As a wink wink nudge nudge type of thing. I said no, and I'm not going to- She goes no you served it right. I decided to just say sure and that was that. In high school, the year I got there was the year they instituted a rule that you had to display your ID at all times while at school. If you didn't have your ID out, you could get detention. Due to reasons, I got to school about an hour before first bell and had zero way of getting back home or getting anything from home. Well, until the end of school, of course. So I get to school and realize oh no, I forgot my ID at home. Well, no problem, I'll just go to the office and get a temp one. Welp, turns out I should have tried to make it through the day without my ID, because I got detention anyway, and I knew that I had a greater than 95% chance of making it through the day without anyone who cared noticing I didn't have my ID out, but no, I tried to do the right thing. Well, duck you school, you taught me a terrible lesson. The school board, I know. Why don't we punish the people that do the right thing to help breed resentment? I did the music at our monthly mass for my religion credit and got detention for a few weeks because I played the final countdown on the piano during the offering. Catholic schools, what are you gonna do? I just keep imagining the kids getting real pumped on their way to communion. They all started laughing and after mass I was called over the PA to report to the principal's office. I get there and all the religion teachers are waiting. Some want me suspended, others want me expelled. Keep in mind, I'm a senior 3 weeks from graduation, and I even get condemned to hell. After they all had their say it was just my principal and me in the room, and we were tight, because he was also the band teacher so, when he left for meetings I was in charge of the band. He looks at me and says Zach, as a man of God, that was by far the most offensive thing I've ever heard at a Catholic mass. However, as a musician, that was by far the funniest damn thing I've ever heard at a Catholic mass. Now I can't make it look like you got off scot-free, so I'm giving you detention for the rest of the year. Also, I know nobody wants pink slips, but I know you'll want this one. Then he signs a pink slip saying detention for the remainder of the school year for playing the final countdown during a Catholic mass. And hands it to me. Totally worth it. I actually have a great story on this one. In 4th grade, or something, I had this old itch of a teacher we all really hated. Let's call her Catherine, her actual name. So I was hanging out in the schoolyard, when some first graders came running towards me, and kicked me in the nuts. With absolutely no reason whatsoever. So I started crying and screaming from the unbearable pain I was in. Catherine comes running, and starts screaming at me for making a scene. She starts screaming at a little kid who just got his nuts kicked far up his stomach. So I scream right back at her, and she asks me if I wanted to move this whole discussion to the principal's office. Knowing I was being treated extremely wrong, my answer is of course yes. 
Catherine ended up getting yelled at by the principal for 20 minutes or so, and I got to go home 3 hours before school ended. Best. Day. Ever. In 3rd grade my mom had me do some experimental ADD medication thing that caused a bunch of weird tics and shit. Apparently I kept making some face because my teacher drew 3 stars on a post-it note and whenever I made the face, she crossed off a star. I lost all 3 and got 3 days in detention for recess. Plot twist, I didn't actually have ADD. I got morning detention for running my hand against the brick wall in middle school. I was talking to my girlfriend and wasn't paying attention and just dragging my hand along the wall as I walked down. Supposedly the teacher thought I was banging on the walls. Banging your girlfriend on the wall. If only. I'd take detention for that. So my mother had an interesting relationship with my high school. They would call her and she would laugh and hang up on them. One day I was caught making out with a girl in the halls. We were both pulled into the principal's office and told that since you've been otherwise good students they were going to let us off with a warning and not call our parents. To which I said good because we weren't breaking any rules. After some arguing, we pulled out the school rule book and lo and behold, it wasn't actually against the rules to make out in the halls. So naturally, having been proven wrong, they got upset and called my mom. She laughed at them and hung up. Another time, I had received some academic honors or another from a third party outside the school. So the school decides they want to throw a second award ceremony for me and the other student who'd received the award. I told them I had better things to do on a Friday night than sit around while they all congratulated themselves for my achievements. So they called my mother, hoping she'd force me to go to their little party. She laughed at them and hung up. But I think the best one was when the school finally decided to pass a rule banning the wearing of hats on school grounds. Yes, I know to all you junguns it's always been that way, but that rule wasn't passed in my school until my senior year. And the reasons for doing so were the stupidest things, like hygiene as if people who weren't going to wash their hair were going to start washing because they couldn't wear hats, and gangs we were in the most white, upper middle class area you can imagine. So I organized a hat day protest, I stood just off school grounds and handed out flowers to everyone as they came to school. I got nabbed as I was hanging posters in the halls. They pulled me into the principal's office and once they'd realized how much I'd done to organize the protest, they gave me two weeks detention for, I shit you not, inciting revolution against the school administration, I had that pink slip framed. Then they called my mother who laughed at them and hung up. I have more of these, but I think you get the picture. Not being able to read the teacher's handwriting. Looking back the whole situation was hilarious, but at the time, he was a tyrant of a teacher and everyone was scared of him. He was writing notes on a whiteboard, which we had to transcribe into our notebooks. One of the sentences had the words glass tube in it. He wrote the SS in a way that it looked like an M being young and now if I asked what is a glam tube. He went mental, shouting at me, and dragged me across the desk by my ear screaming about me not being able to read, and shouting glam tube. I'm sure it ended up in a detention for me. Less than a year later he was dismissed as a teacher from the school due to anger issues. I went to an extremely conservative Baptist high school in Guam. I was punished for some pretty insane things, hair being too spiky, singing fellas navadid during Christmas time, too worldly of a song, and getting caught with DVDs of mainstream movies. I was eventually expelled when a group of the super religious students sold me out for drinking a beer at a friend's birthday party on a weekend. At this time the drinking age in Guam was 18. I was 18 when drinking said beer. You have been visited by Papa of Clean Shelves. You will be blessed with organized books and shelves, but only if you comment, keep clean, puppet.